Good evening, meteorologist Jesse Kelly. Here's one to give you another update on the winter storm that's headed our way beginning on tomorrow. Temperatures right now, for the most part, are above freezing. If you're along in south of Interstate 20, we're seeing temperatures around 34 in Shreveport, 31, Minden, 35 down towards Manning. North and west of town, we have temperatures already into the lower, even middle 20, so it's very cold up there, and that cold air will continue to slide down towards the south over the next couple of hours. We are beginning to see a couple of features begin to take shape. So we are beginning to see a little bit of some freezing rain and some freezing drizzle across south central Texas. And then off towards north and west of there, still looking at a big upper level low across the four corners. This will lead to more lift in the atmosphere, which will eventually lead to lots of snow as we head towards Sunday night into the day on your Monday. And some of that snow could be heavy. So again, we are beginning to see everything begin to take shape off towards the west. Eventually, all that will be over our area over the next couple of hours. Tonight, though, we'll have temperatures for all of us falling down to the 20s and 30s, and we will not see much increase in temperatures for your Sunday, as we'll see temperatures for many of us middle to upper 20s. We may see some 30s down towards Manny and also down towards Natchitoches. We do have a hard freeze warning in effect uh, for all the architects as we go into your Monday night to your Tuesday. Again, we will see those nighttime lows into the single digits, so very, very cold air is on the way. But before we get there, though, we will have an opportunity of seeing some a mixture of freezing rain and sleet just because we have a warm layer above the cold air. And just enough of that warm air will melt some of the snowflakes, allow it to maybe even melt down to rain before it refreezes on contact. And again, we will see um, all this change over to all snow as the atmosphere from the top down to the bottom cool down to below freezing. So we could see all snow Sunday night into the day on your Monday. So Robbins, total future cash shows. Again, we will begin to see winter precipitation on the increase across the southern parts of the Arctic beginning after midnight. Could see a uh, wintry mix, uh, f- uh, mixture of some freezing rain and sleet. They'll begin to increase and move off towards the north and east as we go into your Sunday morning. North and west of that, from Texarkana, Mount Pleasant areas towards the north and west of there, you can see some light snow as we head towards Sunday morning. That will move off towards the north and east. Could see a little bit more of some uh, wintry mix as they head towards Sunday evening as the main area of snow begin to increase from the west. We'll see that begin to work its way towards Treeport after sunset. South and east of Treeport, we'll still see a wintry mix where we could see some ice issues down here. Maybe see over a tenth of an inch of ice. You too will see a change over to all snow after midnight. Some of the snow will be rather heavy at times. We'll see all the snow begin to end and move off towards the east as we head towards your Monday afternoon and evening. And we'll maybe see um, the snow come to end by Monday night. We may see a little bit of breaks in the clouds as we go into Monday evening, which will offer temperatures for all of us to fall down to the single digits. Tuesday will be a dry day. That's some good news for us, although it will still be rather cold. But we'll see our next disturbance begin to take shape. We will see uh, winter precipitation on the increase as we head towards your Wednesday. And as of right now, still lots of uncertainty on exactly who all will see what, but we will see another opportunity for more rain and more snow and more ice as we head towards next Wednesday and Thursday. So as of right now, still looking at about an inch or two down towards the being Noxious Parishes. You will mainly see sleet and freezing rain. Of course, if you see less of that, you will see a little more snow. Your totals may go up. Across the heart of the architects, you may see three, even five inches of snow. You may see a little bit heavier amounts. That's quite possible. Texarkana, areas north and west of there, may see even up to seven inches of snow. So again, we are looking at quite a bit of snow, especially in north and west of Texarkana. Last time, all the heavy snow was on the south side of the architects. So we're expecting this time around to see the heavier totals north and west uh, Shreveport. Now, our in-house model is still showing we could see some heavier totals south of Shreveport. So again, that's something that's quite possible. Not saying that we will that we can't see it, but again, it's a possibility that we could see heavy snow-wise south and east of Shreveport. Another thing to be watching for is potential of seeing some freezing rain still showing the heavier totals south east of Shreveport. We could see manning down towards Natchitoches over a tenth of an inch. So we could see some travel concerns, some of the ice building up on those power lines and trees where we could see some power outages. Even see some trees begin to you know, see their limbs break just because of the heavy weight of the ice on those trees allowing those tree limbs to, to bow you know, and they may break. So as we head towards your Monday night, we'll see temperatures for all of us falling down to the single digit towards the west. Still hold on to teens as uh, along in uh, southeast tree, but, but you too will see temperatures falling down into the single digits. So it's going to be a very, 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 very cold start for Tuesday morning. Again, hopefully you have already got your plan and action of where you're going to be, hang out for for the next couple of days. As you will see conditions not be that great to drive around. We will see warmer temperatures as we head towards your Tuesday, but not much warmer. We'll see those temperatures into the... Uh, 
20s, maybe see some 30s. Wednesday, we'll see another round of winter precipitation. As of right now, we could see, as of right now, a winter mix, whether that's freezing rain, sleet, snow, maybe some rain as well, too. But we're continuing to fine tune that forecast for Wednesday and Thursday. As we get closer to the time, still some uncertainties on who all will see what. This all depends on the atmosphere profiles. Now, the good news is we will see some improvements weather wise as we head towards next weekend. So the next seven days showing you temperatures very chilly. We'll see highs for the most part in the 20s and 30s. Dakota's night will occur for Tuesday morning. We will see some improvements by next Friday and Saturday. We'll see highs by then to the 50s. So again, we will see travel issues begin to start up maybe as early as tomorrow morning, but we really may see some really concerns out there Sunday evening into your Monday. But also keep in mind that whatever sticks will be sticking around until Friday before temperatures begin to warm up to above freezing by the Friday and Saturday time frame. So again, if you have to travel, be very, very careful. And also remember those four Ps, people, pets, plants, pipes, very important for the next couple of days with the coldest night of the next seven days to occur for Tuesday morning. We'll see nighttime lows, single digits, and we'll see feels like temperatures for many of us down below zero because it feels like temperatures between negative five to negative 10.